Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you're new, I'm Alexa and my channel focuses on curly hair. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some of my favorite shampoos and it's going to be a combination of drugstore and also high-end shampoos. So I'll make sure to put it up here, like the price range and where you could find the shampoo. And I'm also going to be linking everything down in the description. That way, if you do want to go take a look at them. So I do want to start off with some some of the non-sulfate shampoos that I really like and also I do want to say shampooing your hair is so important I feel like a few years ago I like I knew shampooing my hair was important but I feel like I didn't really put much mind into what types of shampoos I had I honestly had like one shampoo in my collection but as I did start to experiment more on my curly hair journey trying out different shampoos I started to see how big of a role they did have on my curly hair routines so i'll also try to put some of the benefits and things in this video about these shampoos that way you can know why i do love them so much first shampoo that i do want to start off with is like one of the first few shampoos that i did like start using so much and i feel like i've purchased so many bottles of these so it's the curl defining shampoo from not your mother's this one is so good it's so fake free and it really does cleanse my scalp it also has a lot of moisture and it makes my hair feel so hydrated it makes the detangling process easily and i noticed that my curls do look really nice and moisturized later on when i do style my hair so the next Next shampoo that I've been obsessed with for like these past few months is this one from Camille Bros and the bottle just looks like this because like I need to like squeeze it out and it just stays like this for some reason it's the sweet ginger cleansing rinse this one is so good when I put this in my hair and then I rinse it out I'm not kidding my hair it just feels like so hydrated almost like if I put conditioner in my hair already the only thing that i don't really like about this is the smell this kind of has this like earthy smell to it but it's not that bad and i feel like since it's a really good shampoo it's something that i can definitely tolerate and yeah this shampoo is amazing i find that it does clean my scalp good and I can go a good four to five days without shampooing my hair so the next shampoo that I really do like is the last shampoo right here this one is really moisturizing it's also super good and it smells really really good it does kind of have like a perfumey smell so if you're not into perfumey smells and maybe this isn't for you but this is really moisturizing and i do enjoy this one so much another shampoo that i really do enjoy is this one from similai i believe that's how you pronounce it but this is more of like a smaller business but this shampoo does have protein in it and it's also like really liquidy if you guys can see that and i really like this applicator i find that a little bit of this does go a long way and it kind of gives me that protein kick at the beginning of my routine because i tend to use more products that don't have protein when i do style so once in a while i do like to include some protein in my wash day either in my shampoo or in my conditioner that way my hair can be really really balanced and i find that this also leaves my hair moisturized and the, the sud in this is so good it's also sulfate free Now we're going to go into some of the shampoos that I do like that do have sulfate in them. And I do like using sulfate shampoos because I find that they remove buildup really, really well from my hair. And I just really like that really like squeaky clean feeling once in a while. Of course, I honestly don't really like shampoos with sulfates that leave my hair feeling really dry. I honestly dislike that. So I feel like it did take me a while to find some shampoos with sulfate that i feel like they kind of do leave my hair moisturized and not too stripped so the first shampoo is this one from bumble and bumble and it literally 
like it broke earlier i don't know how i am so sad i'm going to have to like buy another one like i literally don't know how this happened but it's their sunday shampoo and i'm just gonna put this to the side because it's literally spilling but i did want to show it to you guys that shampoo is amazing it cleans my hair so well and it just makes my hair look really really good and it makes also my deep conditioner to like go in and penetrate really well into my hair i tend to really enjoy deep conditioning my hair especially when i use a sulfate shampoo because i feel like my hair is like really stripped and clean so all of the amazing things that a deep conditioner does provide i find that it just soaks in really really well into my hair also that shampoo from bumble and bumble for some reason it kind of makes my hair feel moisturized when i use it not too stripped so i definitely do recommend that one it is a little bit pricey but honestly i do think it's worth the money it's really really good so the next shampoo that i really enjoy that does have sulfate in it it's the whey shampoo and this shampoo is so interesting it does have an ingredient i'll put it right here and it's like a chelating ingredient I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but I'll make sure to put the word right here it's just an ingredient that helps to remove hard water buildup from your hair and when I started using this shampoo like the first three times and I was looking back at pictures of my hair I was like why does my hair look so shiny on these specific days and then I noticed that this is a shampoo that I was using in all of those routines and this shampoo is just amazing I'm honestly really obsessed with this one and I think like if you don't want to like buy two sulfate shampoos for your collection I'd honestly say go with this one and not the bumble and bumble because I don't know this just makes my hair look really shiny and I do see other people rave about this one and I find that it also doesn't make my hair feel too stripped but it doesn't make my hair feel you know like that moisturized of course because it does have sulfate but all in all this shampoo is amazing and i'm literally like obsessed with this so so much so i tend to like using shampoos that do have sulfate in them i feel like i don't have a set schedule if you are starting to experiment with sulfate shampoos like putting them back into your routine maybe use them three like every three weeks or once a month but honestly i use a shampoo of sulfate whenever i just want to remove buildup from my hair sometimes it can be every week sometimes every two weeks or every 10 days or so it literally just depends so now we're going to go into the next category i only have one for this topic right now so it's kind of like you know when you're clarifying your hair but this shampoo doesn't have sulfate in it that's the curl smith wash and scrub detox probiotic shampoo this is amazing it really does focus on your scalp your scalp just feels really like moisturized it feels really like put together if that makes sense sometimes my scalp tends to like itch a lot and sometimes it doesn't go away no matter what shampoo i use so i always make sure to use this one when that does happen i just like shampooing my hair for like four to five minutes and i just like really concentrating on my scalp i feel like oftentimes people can forget about their scalp and they might you know scrub it for a few minutes but it's so important to concentrate on your scalp and just take care of it because that's where our hair grows out of and you know our scalp is just really important for healthy hair also good hair growth and more and now i do want to go into some of like washes that i really do like so the first cold wash that i like it's this one from my sonye i'm like trying to 
okay right here <laughs> so is this one from my Sonye. this one is so good this one's really interesting because it's like a cold wash and also like a clarifying hybrid it's something that i saw on their instagram but this has really amazing ingredients in it it's so nice it makes my scalp feel really good it also makes my hair feel moisturized i feel like when i'm using a shampoo i'm always looking for moisture and just like not having that really stripped feeling in my hair because my hair is really coarse it's also really high dense and it is prone to dryness so i definitely always want moisture when i am washing my hair that way things can be less complicated and my hair won't get as tangled so the next co-wash that i really do like it's this one from lush and it's a bar i just like break some apart anytime i need some and i use that instead of taking the whole thing into the shower but this is so moisturizing this is their avocado one i enjoy this so much i also find that it does really clean my scalp and it's just a really nice co-wash i completely forgot to add this co-wash from curl smith and i don't know how because this is literally the first co-wash that i honestly really liked because before this one i was like what's the point of a co-wash because i had used other ones and i didn't really like them but this one is so good so moisturizing and it's so easy to detangle my hair with Another shampoo that I really do like and I don't have with me because I was trying to find it, but I, I don't know where I put it. It's the Flaxseed Shampoo from Maui Moisture. I did buy that one, I believe, like four months ago when it was launched. And it's such a nice shampoo. It makes my hair kind of feel clarified. Even though it doesn't have sulfate, it just gives me that really nice and squeaky feeling to my hair without, like, you know, making it feel stripped. But that's another shampoo that I do recommend from the drugstore that it's just amazing and another shampoo that i do enjoy is from shea moisture and it's their jamaican black castor oil one i won't consider that for myself like a clarifying shampoo it's kind of like a moisturizing shampoo for me but something that i won't use every single wash day Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, if I didn't mention your favorite shampoo or if I did, just comment down below what shampoo that I do have that you have too and you love. Or if you didn't see your favorite here, just let me know because I'm literally always looking into buying new shampoos. That way I can see what works and I can recommend it to other people also keep in mind you do not need all of these shampoos in your collection i'm just a little crazy and i love buying products but these are shampoos that i do reach out for a lot and if you were like a little curious of what i do like these are my most used shampoos so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i love you guys so much and i hope you have an amazing rest of your week bye